Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Wiimod on the Steam Deck Steam OS. If you don't know what Wiimod is, it's basically a program that after you've installed it, you can use it with your games, uh, activate the trainers so you can get infinite health, infinite money, uh, level up, you know, all that stuff, all that good stuff. I actually use it a lot because I'm a growing up gamer. I, I don't grind. Uh, some games, some like things you just grind for money and yeah, I, I don't do that anymore. Um, so yeah, it's hard to install onto your Steam Deck. I've got many videos showing you how to do it, but I understand that some people cannot do it, okay? Uh, but you know, people are asking me to do an update video, but there's not really much to update because for me, it just installs onto my Steam Deck. So let me show you. This is my Steam Deck currently and my Steam OS. I'm using the latest stable release. Okay, so there's no update. Uh, I'm currently using 3.6.20. Okay, that's my theme OS. And then if you take a look at Wiimod, uh, I've just got it installed onto my downloads folder. Okay, just the Wiimod EXE. And then um, compatibility, I'm using Proton Experimental. Okay, and let's just run it. Uh, and then later, I know what your, your, some people have issues installing it. And last time I was, helping a Patreon member install Wiimod. He wanted my help. And then there was an issue that I couldn't install onto his, and then I tried it like, because I was remote accessing and um, it was really laggy. And then I like disconnected and then I used my daughter's Steam Deck. So I've got two Steam Decks. So this is the one I'm using right now. So you can see here, it's connected to my capture card. I can't really bring it too far. Okay, it's connected to my capture card. Uh, I'm showing you right now. Uh, this is my daughter's Steam Deck. Uh, you, he, she uses you to, to play Stardew Valley and some Pokemon emulation stuff. All right, so um, you can see on my one, welcome growing up gaming. I've got the pro membership and everything. Um, and here's the version, version 9.15.0. That's the latest version of Wiimod as of recording, but it gets updated frequently. So when you're watching this, it might not be the latest version anyway, uh, but it doesn't really matter. They just do uh, minor updates, so it doesn't really matter. But now let me take you to my daughter's Steam Deck and I'll show you how to install it. Um, and there's issues. I, I think that's what most people are getting uh, when they have issues. Um, and then uh, I'll show you how I fixed it, but it, it's not... How you think it is okay so yeah let's just go to my daughter's steam deck okay let me interrupt for a minute because i want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video instantgaming.com if you're not familiar with instant gaming make sure you check their website out using my link below they sell game keys at big discounts okay uh they cut out the middleman they buy their keys directly from the game developers and then they sell it to you so you get big discounts even without the black friday sales but currently it's even cheaper because they're doing black friday sales Okay, so Black Friday, uh, they're doing it for every single day. So Crazy Saturday is today. Uh, oh, it's actually Sunday now. Okay, so uh, yeah, what the fuck Sunday. And then um, Cyber Monday is not, not here yet. Okay, so just check out their deals. Uh, for this one, uh, Red Dead Redemption is at a big discount. Okay, so if you don't have Red Dead Redemption, I suggest get the Ultimate Edition. Okay, it's only 19 pounds, 79% uh, discount. That, that's a big that's a good deal. Um, Arkham City. Oh, Dave the Diver. That's a great game too. It's only like eight fifty. Oh, great games. Okay, so yeah, make sure you check them out. I do get a little cut uh, on your sales. That's at no additional cost to you. So that supports me. Thank you for Instant Gaming and sponsoring this video. And let's get back to our video. Okay, so welcome to my daughter's Steam Deck. Okay, she's got the 64 gig model, so she doesn't have much space on the internal SSD. She's only got nine gigabytes left. Uh, she uses an SD card. Okay, uh, because she only plays Stardew Valley most of the time and then watch YouTube. Um, okay, and some emulation. Uh, okay, but with that out of the way, let's get started. So first thing you need to do, obviously, is you need to go and download the Wiimod installer. So I'll link it in the description below. Just click on it. It gets the latest version. Okay, so now its latest version is 9.15.0, like I just said. Okay, but when you click on the link, it might be different depending on when you're watching this. And you also need .NET Framework 4.8. Okay, uh, that's how I do it on my Steam Deck. It, it works on my Steam Deck, but I know some people doesn't work and it doesn't even work on my daughter's one. I'm not sure why, because before it did work on my daughter's um, Steam Deck, but maybe she hasn't been using it um, and I don't know something's changed. I I'm not really sure. Okay, so once you've got those downloaded, go over to your Dolphin file manager downloads. Oh, okay, she downloads it on her SD card because she doesn't have much space. Okay, so now, okay, so I, I recently tested it on 9.14. So now, once you've got this on 9. this file, 
what you need to do, right click it, add to Steam. Okay, and it's right here on the left hand side, you can see here, that's the installer. And then I'm just going to go to properties, compatibility, and then I'm going to use Proton 621GE2. Okay, so if you don't know how to get this, uh, I've got a video showing you how to get this because if you use the Proton UpQT, you might not be able to download it now. You need to go to the GitHub page and get the release and install it manual. I'll link that video if you don't know how to get this Proton. Okay, this Proton is needed to install. So we're just going to run it and it's going to install Wemod. It's an installer. We're running the installer now. We're not running the Remod app. We're running the Remod installer. So it installs it onto your Steam Deck, hopefully. So just be patient. It should be running. Okay, see here, Remod installing. Just be patient. It's kind of longer than what I remember it used to be. It used to be just a flash screen very fast. Okay, now it's installed and it automatically stopped. Okay, so where does it install to? It installs onto a prefix folder. And if you don't know how to locate your prefix folder, what I like to do is I like to go to the home and then click on this hamburger button. Make sure show hidden files. This is checked. And then go into the hidden folder, dot steam, steam, and then steam apps. If I can find it, can't. Where is it? Apps, oh, here it is. Um, and then compact data. And then you can see here, mod I sort by modified. This is just modified. So this just created basically. So this is, I know is the prefix folder for my uh, Wii mod that I just installed. And then go inside the prefix folder, drive C, just like Windows now, users, Steam user, app data, local, and Wiimod is right here. Okay, this is the file that we want to run. So normally I just copy this location. Okay, copy it, and then I just go back to my um, Steam library, go to properties, and then I, I change the start in. I just paste this location, and here also, change, uh, like, keep the quotation marks the quotation marks i just paste it i paste it yeah i kept the quotation so make sure you keep the quotation marks at the start and at the end and this is just the folder we need the exe so i'm just going to type v mod dot exe so this runs the program compatibility i'm going to change it back to proton experimental click play and we should get an error but we haven't installed .NET and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit slow. I'm not sure if it's, is it my daughter's Steam Deck. Is it, maybe because she doesn't have much space. And um, maybe because... Okay, see here? You need the correct version of .NET. Okay, so... What you need to do is you need to get Proton Tricks. Okay, if you don't have it, go here to the bottom. Software Center, Discover Software Center. Okay, this is needed. If you play non-Steam games or Steam games, whatever, you, you need this. Proton Tricks, powerful tool. Just type Proton Tricks in the search. Okay, uh, I'm not sure why it's taking so long to search. Maybe, okay, so I've got it installed anyway. So yeah. It should load if you've got a proper internet, yeah, like this. I've already got it installed. Okay, so I've just got to open Proton Tricks. Um, and here's the non Steam Shortcut V mod. Okay, I'm going to try to install the .NET framework. Okay, and it's really hard to install on Proton Experimental. So, what I normally do is I go to compatibility and I change it back to Proton 621. I should have done that first. Okay, so yeah, sorry about that. You should do this. Go to, and yeah, because now I've gone into the uh, Proton Tricks. This is the not the this is the Proton Experimental one. So I'm just going to cancel out of this. Okay, so make sure you change the game to Proton 621 first. 
because it's I've never tried in successfully installed uh, it on Proton Experimental. So now I'm gonna do it again, and it should give you an like an error message saying it's like version six point twenty one is no longer supported. That's why I knew that I messed up. You should have this. Okay, now I'm going into the prefix folder. That's a six point twenty one GE two version. That's what you want. It's easier to install the .NET framework. That's the dependency that's required. That's why it's hard to install on Steam Deck. Because Windows, it's really easy to install. It's actually bundled with Windows, uh, Windows 10 or above. Uh, but obviously our Steam uh, Linux doesn't have it. Okay, so okay, select the default Wine prefix. What you need to do, first thing, run Wine config, because uh, you can't install it on Windows 10 or above. Okay, so I'm gonna change it to Windows 7 here. Apply, okay. Then run uninstaller, okay. And then here, here I've got Wiimod already installed. Uh, go to install, go to, oh no, it's not in her downloads folder. Her uh, media, oh she, run me, in her SD card. Back to the SD card. You should put it into your downloads folder. I can't even find it. Already, I'm just gonna cut it and put it in. So Z drive, home, deck, downloads, be here. Okay, so I'm gonna select the .NET 4.8 framework. Installer, try to install it. I think we should have a problem here. Some people say they install it and then it just automatically says that they've already got it installed. And you know, uh, I think I did get that error on my daughter's Steam Deck. Let me let me double check. Kind of forgot. Okay, so extracting it takes a little bit of time. Be patient. Dot net. Yeah, all right, yeah, 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 okay. That's yeah. A lot of people in the comment session said they get this and I kind of understand now because on my, uh, my my personal Steam Deck doesn't happen. I can install it really easily. Uh, a lot of people get this and even my daughter's Steam Deck get this. So unfortunately, the way to fix it is to use my old prefix folder that I've got, that I've copied over the years. Okay, so I've got it. Dropbox. Get in. And. Oh yeah, she has an issue. I think she has an issue. Chrome. Okay, so I'll get the prefix folder. So I'll, I'll pause it here. Okay, sorry about that. So uh, yeah, there's an issue with Dropbox and Chrome. If you can't log in, you have to go into your Chrome settings and reset to the default settings before you can log in. So yeah, I've done that. Uh, now I've downloaded the uh, prefix folder. Okay, so I've got the prefix folder right here in my downloads. Okay, um, this is just the prefix folder from my uh, Steam Deck. Okay, so what I normally do is I just go over to the, see we've already got the location, right? Okay, this is the prefix folder. So go back to the prefix folder. Yeah, the, the, the root of it. And I'm just going to copy my one over. So I'm just gonna paste it over. Apply to all, apply to all. So like before we try to open the game, right? and we couldn't, and then we tried to uh, use Proton 6.21 to install .NET Framework 4.8, and it didn't work, okay? But, but now, I'm just gonna copy over my prefix folder, which is already installed the .NET Framework and all that, so it should just work, it should just work. But unfortunately, I can't share this folder for you guys. Okay, I know a lot of you are gonna ask me to share it. Okay, so it's completed. 
Um, there's a reason why I'm not sharing it, okay? Uh, one reason is uh, I've never shared it. Uh, I've only shared it to my Patreon members and a lot of people have paid me to get it. Um, so I can't just give it out for free now. That's one reason. Well, the main reason is actually because, if you take a look, once I've got it, it loads directly into the Wii mod. Okay, and, and this is my Wii mod. It's already got my login information and everything. Okay, see, growing up gaming and the pro membership and everything. And if you go to my settings, it is the latest version, 9.15.0. And if you go to my account, yeah, it's already got my billing. It's even got my credit card. And yeah, that's why I'm not sharing my 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 prefix folder. I'm only doing it for Patreon members who are paying me. I've got their email. Yeah, I trust those people. Yeah, I've been doing it a lot with those guys. Um, yeah, so yeah, don't have to ask me for it. Uh, I can't share this, but you could actually do it. Like if you have a friend that has a Steam Deck that can install it, like, because my Steam Deck just installs it perfectly. It doesn't have that issue where it says, you know, .NET Framework's already installed. I think it's got something to do when it generates the uh, the prefix folder. So maybe it could be like the, you're using an older version of the Steam OS or whatever. I'm not sure why, but uh, once you've done it, you can install it. My, my Steam Deck installs it right now, even if I'm on the latest um release of steam os so yeah that's my input for today that's my update that's why i haven't been really updating my um steam deck videos uh for Wii mod because a lot of people ask me to update uh, because my last one was eight point something now it's 9.15 and people are like wait new versions coming out you should do an update but there's not really much to update okay but uh yeah i'll leave it here thank you for watching let me know in the comments if you have any issues uh, i'll try my best to help uh and yeah see you guys in the next one later